Hey, what's up guys? Very excited. Today, we're gonna to be installing the New Age Pro Series cabinets in my garage. I got the nine piece set with the bamboo countertop. I've done this before. We're gonna to try to go by the book today. I'm gonna to walk you through it kind of step by step and you guys can watch me do the process. I'm really interested in how these New Age cabinets are gonna look in here. I've used them before. I've seen them in other people's garages. They look fantastic. Stick around, it's gonna be a fun video. Let's get after it. Let's see what comes in the boxes. You guys are seeing on your screen right now how it looked when it got delivered. They call you before they come and they tell you, you know, the delivery person might just drop this off on the curb. It's up to you. You have to inspect it. You're gonna have to sign paperwork. Here's my experience. The delivery guys came, they took it off the truck. They wheeled it into my garage for me. They didn't need me to sign anything. Your experience may differ. I would take what they tell you very seriously. You get a phone call after you order these products. They're a very professional company. They're very hands-on with customer service, so that's nice. And then you see it's a lot of stuff that you get. As you go through the boxes, you're gonna find packages of hardware. They basically are gonna give you two things. One, a nice kit like this that looks well-organized, everything's labeled. Two, a giant cardboard box full of casters and wheels and other parts. And I've even seen the hardware come in plastic baggies out of the packaging here. So what you get might differ, but just be prepared. The first step that we're gonna to have to do is install wheels on the big storage lockers that we have. That's going to set us up to align everything off of that. If you walk over here with me, you can kind of see what I've already done. We have an interesting setup in our garage. There's a shelf right here that prevents me from putting lockers up because they have to go all the way back to the wall and then bolt into the studs. So this shelf, I can't do anything past this in our garage. Additionally, we have this little uh, curb and what we're gonna have to do is essentially only install the front legs on all of these and the back legs are gonna sit up here. This is a five inch drop but the cabinet legs accommodate that, so we're gonna be fine. The other thing that I've done to prepare is I've marked all the studs and made large leading vertical lines to let me know where I'm gonna put my wall bolts because in the back of these lockers are holes lining all the way across, letting you know where you can drill through and put your lag bolts in, and they work great. So we're gonna do that, we're gonna get started, I'm gonna put the legs on, and then the next time I'll talk to you is when we're doing the installation of the cabinet, and then when we do the uppers, which are gonna be pretty easy as well. The way that they make this thing should be easy enough for anybody, any DIY or any dad pro to get it done. Feet are on, the cabinet's in the first position. Essentially, what we're gonna do, so we have this cabinet butted up against the ledge over there. If you come around here, Brody. If you look on the sides of these cabinets, they give you pre-drilled, pre-machined holes for your lower cabinets and your upper cabinets. So the position of your first one is gonna be key and the rest are gonna be kind of based off of that. Let me show you something here. We talked about these vertical lines that I've pre-drilled on the holes. Now that this cabinet's in place, it's not secure yet, so I'm gonna be kind of gentle with it. You can see, I can look in here and I can see where these holes are now so I can put in my bolts that are gonna secure this thing to the wall. We leveled it. I just basically got kind of lucky, just held it back up against the wall and then lowered the feet down right to where they were bearing the weight of this thing and we got level. So we'll start with this one. Once this one's secured in place, it's gonna be just plug and play after that, but I will show you guys the process, stick around. They give you these brackets with the uppers and what they want you to do with these is hang them on the wall about here and then you put the cabinets on there. The cabinets sit on there held in place while you bolt them in here and then finally secure them to the wall with the lag screws. That is what I'm gonna to try to do. Now, I told you guys I've done this before. What we did, okay, I'm not telling you to do this, but what we did is somebody just held the cabinet up so that they can wiggle it around. Somebody else bolts it in real quick. They're very doable by yourself. If you have a couple buddies, it's very easy. And then once one is done and secured to the wall, you move on to the next one, same technique, and the next one, and we have three of these total. You just have to make sure you're checking your level along the way and all that should be good. I'm gonna try it this way, because I am emulating doing this by myself right now, even though Brody's here to help me if need be, and we'll see how this first one goes. If it doesn't go well, we're gonna revert back to the 
old school way. And if it does go well, then you guys know that this is a great way for you to do it too. So watch this B-roll of me doing it and we'll see how it goes. We tried these. New Age, I did, I tried these. Measured them, drilled them in, mounted the cabinet up there. The bolts wouldn't align, the cabinet was just a little too high. I'm pushing, pulling, twisting, it wasn't going. So what me and Brody did, and you're gonna see this in a second, I held this shelf up here, just against the wall, just with my shoulders, put in bolts, we secured them. Now I'm gonna screw the thing into the wall back there, and this cabinet's gonna be, I think it's gonna be just fine. We're level, we're still level up there, we're aligned, and we're gonna go do the next two, just like that. And then we'll do the final big one in place there. And you know, it, if you're by yourself, first of all, if you're by yourself, let me show you something. If you're by yourself, and you have to, to get around like this to get these in, it, that's not happening, okay? This, securing these to one another is a two-person job unless you take the doors off, which you can do. You can take these doors off, you could do it by yourself then, but that's a lot more work. Far better of an experience if you have somebody here to help you. And honestly, these, great, you know, good idea. It helps put the cabinet up there really quick, but it's just, we're not gonna do it that way. So what you're gonna see is you're gonna see us do the next one exactly the same way, and I'll leave it up to you guys to decide how you wanna do it in your own garage. Guys, look. I don't know what to tell you. That's a better way. Just do it that way if you can. I honestly, I don't know why you do it the other way with the shelves. Smarter, not harder, folks. Smarter, not harder. Up to this point, we've got quite a bit done. We've got our three overhead shelves done and our final wall locker installed here, and everything's connected. What we have not done is finally crank down the bolts connecting the stand-up locker in this last top cabinet, and we haven't put in the lag screws into the wall for this locker. The reason is because now it's time to put in our lower cabinets. When you get these new age sets, they come with a combination of upper, lower cabinets, worktops, all that stuff. Let me show you something over here. You're gonna have to take these drawers out. You might be scratching your head going, how do we do that? Well, it's kind of common. There are little latches right here. And usually if one goes down on one side, the other goes up on the other side and you can find them on either side. And when you do that, the drawers come right out. It's pretty easy. To get them back in, you don't have to worry about that. They kind of self fit themselves in there and snap into place with the pressure of just sliding it in. So now we can access the mounting points that go into the stand up locker here and the holes to screw the lag screws in to the wall. Same thing here. This one, guys, really nice. We'll, uh, we'll do kind of a final with all these, but I'll go ahead and do it here in a minute, but you can see on the bottom there, same thing, two little switches to get these out. You know what, I'll just go ahead and do this one too. Because you'll see just what the inside of the cabinet looks like. And you can see how we have access to the back there and the sides. And nicely, we can tell that we're already aligned because we have cabinets that fit together. We'll check in with you guys as we go. We've got three lower cabinets, a workbench, a slat wall, and we'll go over the whole thing when it's done. I'll see you in a minute. So depending on the choices you made when you bought your new age product system, you get a choice of a countertop here. And I've got the 84 inch bamboo worktop that's gonna go on top of our three lowers here. And they have little machined holes. Can we get a shot of this, Brody? They have these holes pre-machined here and self-starting screws that are basically just gonna go up from the bottom here into the worktop. And I went with bamboo for a couple reasons. One, I do like the look. Two, it makes less noise when things get you know, clicked on it because the other one's stainless steel. And third is the stainless steel one, what I've come to learn is the bamboo one wrapped in stainless steel. It's not a solid sheet of stainless steel, which you'd probably be thankful it's not when you're taking it out of the box. So we're gonna unbox this, we're gonna lay it up there and get it screwed in, but so far things are looking really great. We've just left a little bit of looseness on some of the bolts connecting the end parts here, as far as the lower and upper and the stand-up locker, and we haven't lag screwed this in yet. We're gonna wait 
until everything's done in case we have to make any movements. But everything else is secured. And this has been a pretty easy and fun project. So you can see we got the work top unpacked and put up here. Nothing to it. We literally just put it up there. It's currently not held in. But because those holes down there are set up for us to drill into the bottom of it, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my drill, get my, it's called the work top screw in your tool kit or your hardware kit, I should say. And all I'm going to do is come up from the bottom and drill it in. And then I'll probably go on to the other side and get the other corner of it done so that it's held on on both sides and kind of square. And then I'll do the rest. There are four work top machined holes in each of your lowers. So I'll probably do, I guess I'll do them all and get this thing nice and secure because I'm gonna be doing work on it. This has uh, nothing to do with installing, but um, just look at this cute little washer that I found. It's uh, like off center and I just think it's adorable. I'm not gonna use it, but I just wanted to show you guys. Pretty far along here. All that's left is pretty much the slat wall behind the worktop and then there's some settings for the lights that came with this and everything. And then we can start customizing like where we wanna put shelves and stuff like that. And I'll show you guys that at the end. But I'm gonna take this time because we're done drilling into the wall, we're done drilling in general, um, except for the slat wall, but that's gonna cover up part of the worktop here. So I wanna clean up our mess. I've got the shop vac here, this one's by Rigid. And if you don't have a shop vac and you're doing a lot of work, it might behoove you to get one. These things are so handy, they're so nice to have a little wet dry vac for big projects, picking up big chunks of plastic and sawdust. And we've been drilling into the studs, we've been drilling into the drywall, we've been drilling into the workbench and all that. So we've made a pretty big mess. There's also a lot of styrofoam that comes in these. You're gonna be cleaning up styrofoam for days, folks. Trust me on that one. So make sure you clean up your work area. You don't wanna leave a big mess. So we're gonna go ahead and clean up right now with the shop vac. And once that's done, we'll start finalizing things, putting shelves back in and all that, getting organized and starting to really use this thing, show you how I plan on using it. I said earlier how it was pretty easy to put these away after you've taken them out. And I'm gonna show you it really is easy. I'm just gonna slide it back in. There's nothing to it. As long as you get it aligned. Super simple. You have to line it up and get it in there, but I thought I would show you just so you could see it for yourself before you get into it. Super easy to do. Everything's connected now. We're bolted in, secured. Lag screws are in, we're level. We're gonna do the slat wall next. I'm gonna get the slat wall started and I'll see if there's anything I need to tell you guys. There's a separate slat wall video linked down below, probably popping up in the corner here right now. And that explains setting up new age slat wall like what's behind me right here. You guys can check that out. If there's anything worth mentioning, uh, while we go through this slat wall, I'll do so. But until then, until we do a final walkthrough, we're pretty much done. The slat wall is installed, there was nothing to it. Check out the slat wall installation video for more information if you are curious how it's done. I'm gonna show you guys how these shelves work and we're gonna do a quick tour of the New Age Pro system. So they come with a ton of these little hooks right here. They go in for the shelves the same way on your upper cabinets and your tall lockers. Really simple. Good luck to you, making sure that they're aligned on both sides on the first try. We'll see if I got mine done correctly. But they just go in there and they just sit in there kind of like the slat wall hooks. And then you've got your individual shelves, which by the way, are pretty heavy. Everything with this system is pretty heavy duty. Looks like I went one, two, all right, that is in there. So I wonder if, uh, what's going on with this? Ah, uh, yeah, I was one off. So there we go, that shelf is installed now. Like I said, good luck to you 
eyeballing that from either side, getting them right the first try. But that's how you put in a shelf. And then there's also circular kind of tubular racks that can go across here. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with all that stuff yet. So I'm gonna hold off um, installing them. But let's do a quick tour of the whole system. So you have your stand-up lockers, which you guys can see here. I'm 6'2", so these are currently sitting about seven feet off the ground, 80 inches is what they say. I plan on putting buckets, rags, chemicals in these. Then you've got your bamboo worktop or stainless steel, depending on the choice you made. Your slat wall, and you're gonna need to pick up some slat wall hooks. I ordered these as part of the slat wall hook kit from the New Age website. You've got your uppers, three of those. We haven't uh, shot back these out yet, so you guys can see a little BTS of uh, our process. And each of those come with one shelf. There's really not much to talk about there. One thing that I do really like with the Pro Kit is you get this set of drawers right here. Here you have a basic work drawer, you know, whatever utility drawer you wanna do with that. Down here though, I wanna show you guys this. They give you 24 awesome little blue storage kits for miscellaneous hardware and stuff. And I have a bunch of screws and lag screws and washers and things left over from this installation. Our little happy lopsided washer over there. And then you have a trash can with a separate little compartment back there that you can figure something out for. But I love, love that this comes with a trash can. Now I have a little garage trash can built in. Let me show you one thing I don't like though. These drawers hit each other a little bit right here. And I, I'm worried, depending on which one I open and close, that that might get annoying after a little while, but we'll see. I'll do a follow-up video of these and we'll see how that goes. Then you've got a basic two shelf system here and this drawer slides out. Super simple guys, really nice. And then over here, you've got a one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five drawer tool storage area. Each one of these has a nice little soft pad on the bottom, not like laser foam cut style foam, but just like velvety cushiony material for you to lay your tools out so that they don't slide around basically when you're opening and closing the drawers. But all the drawers are soft closed, really nice. And then finally another locker. And this is the nine piece kit from New Age. You guys saw the rest of the videos. We have the overhead storage above us. We have the slat walls on there. We have the switch tracks on the deck. And uh, the garage is pretty much finished. Now it's just gonna be about beautification, finalizing it and actually using it. So stay tuned. We'll do a follow-up video where we go over how I'm using this day to day, maybe in 30, 60, 90 days, something like that. I would love to hear your comments on what you would like to know about the New Age Pro system. But this compared to the Bold system, bigger, heavier duty, made of steel. Oh, there is one thing. I did get the undercarriage light kit that comes with this because when I'm working here, especially at night, the thing is you're casting, if you're standing here, you're casting a shadow down on what you're working on. It's gonna make it hard to see. But I don't have power over here. So I'm actually going to need to figure out how to get power from over on this side of the locker, through the locker. There is a hole in the ground there that I can run up through, but then I'm gonna have to drill or something, a hole in here to get the power cable over to get that light done. So I'll do that in my, I'll talk to you guys about what I decided there in a the follow-up video. But that's it, New Age Pro cabinet system, nine piece system, link down below. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section. Thanks for sticking around. You made your family proud today. You guys did it. You did it for your families and I appreciate that. Don't forget to go in and vacuum up all your sawdust. Is that the type of pairing you wanna be who doesn't vacuum up your sawdust? I don't think so.